see it's um, distance over, distance that's got to be at least two kilometers it's overarching the, that that community there we, we started down this road here at the end of that road we figure what it was about we figure it was a half kilometer from the tower now we're about at least a kilometer and a half these readings have stayed fairly consistent we were six in that corner we're getting readings of four emf radiation so this whole community here even this one here is getting blanketed with this emf radiation from that tower and that 5g is not even live look at that it's three it's 3.85 right here look how far away That's with the camera Four, not blowing up. It's 4.23. That's well above the adverse health effects. Look at that. This whole community is getting EMF radi radiated right now. Just going to pan back to that community here. Look at all the homes. Like everybody's getting in here. Yeah. What's scary about this? Those small antennas aren't up that our friend here, Vishal, was talking about with the with IE World. Like this will be self drive, self automated cars. Here. Yeah. With with antennas every what two two hundred meters? Every 500 meters yeah. 300 meters, there you right? go. So for the five. So imagine the radiation then. Like uh, that's the reason we're doing this. We're we're sending out a warning cry to everyone in Canada yeah. and around the world that yeah. this is coming. This is a scary world. It's top down. Yeah. Uh, these people making these decisions do not give a damn about you and your family. That's 100%. They are already programming people according to that. And so everybody is being programmed. Everybody is being told that this is a lie and this is the truth. So as in the Bible, right? As in the end days, the good will be the bad and the bad will be the good, right? So that's what they're going for, basically. So, so yeah. everything that they will be do doing will do with your consent. And just because we are unaware, just because we do not, people don't have an aware, awareness about it, they will do it very easy. So they will create fear, they will create propaganda, and then they will implement it, telling you that it is for your own safety, and you will accept it. And that's what they want, because they, because at the end of the day, they are also scared of people. They are also scared that people will revolt against us. So they want people on their side, and to be on their side, they will put your kids on that. that we are doing it for your kids. We are doing it for your benefit. We are doing it for your welfare. And but it will f you up in the later terms. It will, it will be bad for you in the later uh, part of life. Yeah, this is everything that's bad with this world we're in. Yeah. And he's uh, Vishal's got a beautiful analogy. Could you yeah. could you share it with people today? So, so, so this is exactly what's going on. So what they are basically trying to do, the elite that we can say they're trying to do is they're just it's just like they are keeping us like a toad is in a water than in a boiling water. So the water will keep on boiling and the toad will think, okay, so I'm happy because he's feeling the warm water, the lukewarm water. But that water is actually killing him slowly. So it's a slow death. Yeah, the and water is going to get warmer, hotter so, and hotter. And the, and the toad... The toad won't feel it. Yes. And it'll, it'll get conditioned and think this is good. Eventually, it'll end up boiling and kill it. Kill it. And that's what's happening to us. And the new war that they are basically doing, the world war that was like, before they used to do nuclear wars, Hiroshima, Nagasaki happened, whatever happened, Vietnam War, Iraq, Iran, whatever is going on. But the new war that is going on is on consciousness. So they are trying, they're still trying to kill people, but they are going to kill people without telling them, there'll be silent wars. People would not even know that they're get, getting killed, slowly and steadily. It's just like, you must have seen the movie Bird Box on Netflix, it's kind of that, it's a hidden enemy. As even Trump says though, hidden enemy, right? Invisible enemy. Yeah. Yeah. So they're gonna be silent wars. And you would not know that you are a victim of that war. Yeah, and look at this. Because they don't want, nobody yeah. knows also, right? Because if nobody knows, nobody do nothing. If you know something like we do, and yeah. people, it's like sniper, up, right? people get awareness and they want to open yeah. and share, right? And look at the, yeah. look at COVID-19. Yes. Perfect example. Invisible enemy. No, but the death certificates. 
Yeah. COVID nineteen. It's yeah. it's it's beyond beyond doubt now that they've been they embellishing, like fabricating the death certificates. So what are they gonna do with five G? And all the cancers and blood disorders and oxidative stress and cellular death, <laughs> they're going to cover it up and pretend it's something else. People are going to accept so it. So start questioning right? everyone. Yeah. Question, question. Do not trust the media. Do not trust these establishment politicians. They're yeah. all in on it. Yeah, it's very, very sickening. Yeah. But through this activism, we, we, we can overcome this. And yeah. it, but it's. It, See the beauty of this issue is unifying everyone. Yeah. Vishal sure. and I are, are, are from different continents, but yeah. we're we're united together in this. This enemy is for everyone. It does not matter if you're black, if you're brown, if you're white, if it does not matter what race, what religion you believe in, what faith you are, what culture it is, it does not matter. It will affect you, your family, your kids, and it would not matter at all who you are. Doesn't or matter how much money you have, to be honest. No. This is about yeah. life. That's not about yeah. money. Literally, this is life and death right yeah. now. That's why we are doing it, and yeah. we'll keep on doing it. So there, there, there it is. Let's call it the Tower of Death now. It shows the progress of this city and country. This, uh, this is a beautiful symbol of the 1988 Winter Olympics in Calgary. Yep. And now look what it's become. It's dead. Unbelievable. Tower. Unbelievable. Like the Tower of Death. Now? Yeah. Death Unbelievable. Tower. Wow. Tower of death. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Babylon Tower.